Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got a first impressions video for you. We're going to look at one of the Inkvent pens. That's a pen that was gifted to me by my wife, Joan Inkvent. And the pen we're going to take a look at is this one. This is the Hon Dian N8. And the color is called White Feather. Let's just take this around there so we can take a look. So if we're looking here on the cap, we've got obviously the white material and then we've got silver feathers on there. I'm hoping that this comes through over the camera. Just slowly turn that around. So hopefully you'll see them. Then on the body, we've got a semi-transparent white acrylic there. I actually quite like that. So I can see the converter through there. And hopefully that means when we've got ink in it, we might be able to see the ink through there as well. But that just looks so pretty. Look at the different colours, the different shades of white. Then we've got hints of grey where we've got that transparency. Really quite pretty, isn't it? Let's walk through the body. So we'll start here with the cap. So on the cap, at the very top, we've got, that looks like a, bird with a maybe three leaves or a little crown on the top of its head that's still in that white material there's got a slight dome feel to that very very slight though as if it's like a little jewel that's inset we've then got the silver colored trim coming down into this silver colored clip the clip very very stiff can't shift that at all the cap as we've said it's this solid white. On the back of it, we've got that bird again. Well, I'm saying it's a bird. It could be something else, but it looks like a bird to me. Then on the top, we've got some writing. I've just had to get my loop out to actually read it. The writing says, Flying Feather. Quite an unusual name. That must be the name of this. I was calling it White Feathers. It's Flying Feather. The cap, we've got a little bit of a taper out. I would say until maybe a third of the way down the cap, then it seems to go straight all the way down. At the bottom of the cap, we've got a silver colored ring, and that feels like it's got a slight taper down until we get to the body. Now, there is a drop off, but because the way that that metal seems to be tapering down, you don't really notice it. When we get to the body, again, appears to be the same width, going to maybe two thirds of the way down, then we taper in again. We've got two silver colored rings. Then we've got the solid white on the end. Now this, it's not a blind cap. It's not a cap of any sort, just the end of the pen. The N8 model, unlike the N7, this is a cartridge converter. Whereas the N7, that was a piston filler. Let's take off the cap. So it comes off in half, one, about one and a half turns. Just gonna do that again. So we go half, one. Yeah, one and a half turns. That comes off. We have a section, it's in that same solid white color. And then that gives us this Hondian nib. So let's take a look at the nib. We look like we've got some kind of decoration around the breather hole. And I'm just going to have to take it off camera a second. There we go, we're back. I know, old man eyes, I can't really see this without getting my loop out now. Underneath that decoration, we've got since 1997, then Hon, Diane, the medium for the size of the nib, and 35. Let's unscrew the section. I said this is a cartridge converter. There's the converter. Just pop this back together. I actually like this. I think it's quite pretty looking. You know, it's it's elegant. I think that's a nice way to describe it. It's elegant. It's something you could use anywhere. And being white, you're not limited by ink color, really. Let's swap over the view and we'll do some size comparisons. Here's my two standard size comparison pens. We've got the Pilot Metropolitan and the Lamy Safari. Size-wise, with a cap on, very little difference. Hong Dian does look a bit wider, but in terms of length, very similar. Let's take the caps off. So with the cap off, 
We're now starting to see a bit of difference, aren't we? The Metropolitan, slightly longer. The Lamy Safari, slightly longer. So that Hondian, we're only talking millimetres, but is the shorter of the three. And that's when I'm lining up the bottom of the nib. If I line the bottom of the section up instead, we've got a definite size difference there. Let's look at these posted. Posted, if you're someone who likes to post your pens, we're now starting to see a difference. The Metropolitan, by far the shortest. The Lamy, just beating out the N8 in terms of length. But again, I want to just focus here down at the bottom. It's the nib, so we've got the number 6 size nib here on the Hondian N8. And then we've got the Pilot number 5 size nib on the Metropolitan. And we've got there that Lamy Safari nib there. So the nibs are making a difference. If I line up again by the base of the section, that Hondian, that does shorten a little bit. So the Lamy becomes a lot longer. I'm going to step away from the desk. I'm going to clean out the pen. When I come back, we'll put some ink in it. We'll do a writing sample and I'll give you my first impressions. And I'm back. So I always clean out a new pen just to make sure that I'm getting rid of any excess manufacturing junk. With the converter, what I do is I use a blunt nose syringe and actually blow water down into the converter. Then I work the mechanism a few times. With the nib, I use a bulb syringe, fill it with water, pop it in here, then make sure at least one full bulb full of water goes through. Good job I do that because like with this one, it looks like this must have been tested in the factory because when I started flushing it through with water, I got red ink coming out. What I do then is just keep flushing until no ink comes out so the water's running nice and clear. So that's now clean. Let's pop it to one side. Just pop the converter there into the section. Make sure that's down at the bottom. I'll fetch in my ink holder. We've got the dragon today. Today's ink, well, I thought with it being white, not limited by colour. And I thought, well, I've got to use a colour that I haven't used for a while. So I'm going to use Dimine Odeneal. It's a gorgeous blue colour. So let's pop that in. It's a standard ink, so I don't need to worry about shaking it at all. Let's see if I can get a slight angle to this. There you are, there's a section done in. Let me just, hopefully you can see this on the camera now. Just work the piston. And we've got a nice full fill straight away. And then ink all over the section. Let me just clean this off. I'm now going to fetch in the notebook of testing. This is an A5 notebook, black and red, got Oxford optic paper. It's a paper I try and use for all my pen testing. Let's do some writing. So we've got here a on Dian, an eight. It's got a medium nib. This was a gift for my wife. It cost her 45 Australian dollars. The ink by Diamine. Oh, Daniel. So this is, a, it's a nice, I want to say maybe in the teal family. It's a bluey green. Does remind me of water though. I mean, Odeneal is water of the Nile. And I can see where we've got that, you know, we've got the green and the blue of water. But then you've got like that sandy colour with it. Let's look at drying times. So we go immediate. 30 seconds, 10 seconds even. Now we'll do 30 seconds. You know, I'm trying to jump ahead of myself, aren't I? Almost dry there at 30 seconds. We'll go for a minute. After a minute, yeah, that's nice and dry. But we expect that really when we saw how dry it was at 30 seconds. I'm going to move the mic down to the page so you can hear the pen writing.
That's nice. The nib is a bit on the stiff side. A little tiny bit of feedback, not a lot. It's certainly not a smooth nib. You can feel the tactileness of it. Let's look for any line variation. So this is with no pressure. And this is with pressure added. To be honest, yes, it looks like it's wider, but I wonder how much of that is just because there's more ink coming through. Do some S's. There's no pressure. That's got pressure. None with pressure. None with pressure. Teeniest bit of a difference, but not that much. And then flow. That keeps up quite nicely. So what are my first impressions of the Hongdian N8? I love the look of this. I know it's the white one. There are other colors. I think it looks very simple. It's very understated. I don't actually mind this silver pattern. I think that just adds a little bit more interest to it. I've already said this. I like the fact it's white means I can use any ink colour with it. quite like this old Daniel actually with this. It looks quite nice. In terms of writing, it's a good fit in the hand. I don't need to post this. I don't like posting pens. It will post. doesn't feel very secure. Look, the cap there is wobbling. So, to be honest, I wouldn't recommend posting it. But you can if you want to. The section... It seems to be a similar width all the way down. I'll know better when I do my focus video, when I do my measurements. But it feels nice and wide. It's very comfortable to use. There's no lip at the bottom. I hold my pens at the bottom. I actually find a lot of the lips very uncomfortable. This is nice. They're being non. And my fingers, because it's on this plastic, they don't feel like they're moving when I was writing. The nib, yes, it was a little bit on the stiff side. I think that will soften up a bit as I use the pen. I do find most of my Chinese pens, when I get them, the nibs, they are very stiff. But overall, quite a pleasurable experience. And as I say, I quite like this ink in this pen. So this is my first impressions of the Hongdian N8 with Diamine Eau de Neal. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What are your thoughts on the Hongdian N8? Do you have one? Are you thinking about getting one? What colour would you buy if you get one? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.